That was eye-opening for me. I picked this random gem from the treasure box because it looked like it had some kind of a play of color. Under the polariscope, it is anisotropic. Good start. This silvery blue sheen made me think of Labrador essence, but it didn't look like a typical Labradorite at all. It is translucent, not opaque, and that threw me off. Spot reading on the refractometer gives me 1.56, which points to feldspar varieties. So I move on to specific gravity and it comes out at 2.65. Cross-checking the results, everything indeed lines up with Labradorite. And apparently Labradorite can also be transparent or translucent, not only opaque. I genuinely did not know that before today. Under magnification, I see plenty of ilmenite inclusions and the labradorescence becomes even more intense. This was not the kind of gemstone I expected to find in that treasure box.